the rules for your mind as you meditate are very different from the rules as you go through the day. As you go through the day, there are lots of things you have to think about, lots of things you have to be responsible for. But for right now, you don't have to be responsible for those things. You don't have to think about them. So anything that comes up in the mind that's not related to the breath, put aside, put aside. You're here to look, master the skill of staying with the breath as well as you can, as continuously as you can. <coughs> but that doesn't mean that the skills you learn while you're meditating don't apply to the world outside. Actually, these are the skills that you're going to need to survive the world outside. You need to be centered. You need to have the ability to cut out any thought that you see is irrelevant to what's really important. It's just that the priorities change a little bit. If you have work, okay, thoughts related to the work are important. You find that the mind, you have to deal with other people, okay, thoughts related to those people are important. But you shouldn't abandon totally your ability to stay with the breath, to stay centered, to work with the breath energy in the body, so that you have a good solid center as you go through the day. That enables you to pull out of anything that you realize is detrimental to you or to the people around you. And as the mind is centered like this, okay, then it comes from a position of strength. So try to master these skills so that you can carry them with you as you go through the day. Don't let them slip out of your lap as you st stand up from the meditation. You want to be centered. You want to have a sense of the breath energy in the body is where you're inhabiting. Don't let anybody else come and inhabit it. And John Cha has a nice image. He says you have a house with one chair. And as long as you're sitting in the chair, everybody else who comes into the house has to stand. They can't be there at their leisure. And you're in the position to say that they, whether they can stay or go. But if they sit in the chair, then they can tell you where to go. In other words, if your greed takes over the chair, your aversion takes over the chair, your fears, anything that would lead you to behave in ways that are unskillful. You can't let them have the chair. You've got to be right here. Well, the breath energy in the body, that's your chair. Stay seated right here. Even as you get up and walk around, you're still in the seat, the seat that has the power as you go through the day. So you've got to learn how not to slip out of it, because we slip away from the breath so easily just as we slip from other thoughts. One thought comes in, and then another thought comes in and just pushes the first one out. Well, the same thing often happens to the breath. It gets pushed out. You get pushed out. And then who knows what comes in and sits in the chair. So learn how to resist that temptation just to go with whatever new thing comes up. You want to choose carefully where you go and what you do and what you take with you as you go and you do other things. Make sure this ability to stay with the breath is one of the things that gets taken along. <coughs>